Over the last 12 months, I lost both of my drakes. They both died. One was a fox attack and the other, I wasn't really sure what happened to him. He was just dead. And so we haven't had a drake here for a few months. And today I just got a message asking me if I wanted a drake. So I raced down to their farm and I got a new boy. He's beautiful. And I would love to just let him out with the girls right now, but I'm going to pop him in a cage, feed him some water with apple cider vinegar in it, and probably give him some diatomaceous earth as well in some food. And I'm gonna check his feathers and see if he's got any parasites or anything, which I don't think he will. I've seen his, where he comes from and it looks fine, but I'm just gonna check anyway, because that's just what you should do. He's really beautiful. Now, when you're handling drakes, they've got sharp claws, so it's probably a good idea to wear long sleeves if you are worried about that. I'm not really fussed about any of that stuff. So we'll see how we go. Are you gonna come out, darling? Hello, beautiful boy. He's my new boy. Are you looking at the camera? This is very different for you, I know. He's not used to being on film. <laughs> All right, he's beautiful, isn't he? Aren't you lovely? We're just gonna have a look at you. Oh, you're pooping all over me? That's okay. That's okay. I don't mind. Let me have a look at you. You're not gonna want me to. I'm just gonna have a look at you. Yeah, he looks fine. There's no parasites under his wings under that wing anyway so all right hey you're looking pretty good aren't you you got nice clear eyes see these are the sharp claws and they can scratch but that's all right he's not trying to hurt me or anything they're very placid that's what i find anyway hey although they do poo on you so you have to watch out for that <laughs> You don't want to be pooped on, don't pick up a duck. <laughs> when choosing a Muscovy duck for your flock, select a healthy bird that interacts well with their own flocks. Make sure it walks well and has strong legs with no deformities. It has a healthy appetite and you can tell by how healthy it looks. You know, it's not too skinny or anything like that. Make sure it's got clear eyes so that they're not cloudy or sunken and no smeared poop around their behind. Make sure the wings are flat around the body and it has no sores or missing feathers. Of course, if it's molting season, that can be a reason for missing feathers. It's pretty warm here, so I've got his cage in the shade. He's had some water with the apple cider vinegar and he's even met some of the ladies. They're coming up and introducing themselves. So he's settling in quite well already. Oh, he's so beautiful. Now we just need to find a name for him. So if you've got any ideas, leave them in the comments below. You are beautiful, aren't you? Hey, you're very handsome. I can't wait to let you out with the ladies. He's gonna be great. For a backyard drake, it's important to choose a nice natured bird. And if he'll be your breeding drake, make sure he's not related to any of your ladies. So you can introduce new blood into your line. He's just come out of the cage now, so he's meeting the ladies. She's my best mother. She's a dominant bird in the flock. So she's obviously going to be the one that's trying to make sure he's worthy to be in the flock. So it's going to take a little bit of time for him to settle in, but this is just part of the process. Make sure they've got room to move around. The door is open on the coop, so they can actually get out of here if they want to. It's a good idea to supervise the behaviour at this point and keep an eye on what's going on so you know which birds are doing what. But it won't take long and they'll all calm down. Being up on the straw bale in the corner here is a good way for him to keep an eye on all of the ladies and get to know his new environment and settle in.
He's having some discussions with the head ducks. And they've got a lot to talk about. The last thing I consider when I'm choosing a new drake for my flock is the colour. All of my girls' fathers were black and white mixes, so a change of colour in my drake will produce a nice variety of any future ducklings. It's back to calm in the coop and he seems to be settling in quite nicely. He just has to grow up a little bit so that he can become the head drake and do the deed. If you'd like to learn more about Muscovy ducks then check out my playlist and if you'd like to see more of what we're doing on our small space homestead then subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.